Benigno S. Aquino III, President, Republic of the Philippines. His Most Eminent Highness, Fra Matthew Festing, distinguished members of the delegation from the Sovereign Order of Malta, His Excellency Giuseppe Pinto, Papal Nuncio and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Secretary Corson Juliano Suleiman, and other members of the Cabinet present, Ambassador Odelia Gregorio Arroyo, Ambassador Mercedes Tuason, fellow workers in government, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. The Sovereign Order of Malta has the distinction of being the oldest order of chivalry, an association defined by a religious, moral, and social code. As an order, however, it was unique in the sense that it began as a hospice founded in 1050 in Jerusalem by Italian merchants dedicated to the care of Christian pilgrims. To this day, it remains true to its beginnings, an order exemplifying valor, charity, and devotion. The Sovereign Order of Malta had the presence in the Philippines even before the Second World War. Prominent members of society began to be received into the order in 1948 and the Philippine Association was officially established in 1957. Diplomatic relations between our states were officially established in 1965. In all that time, the Filipino people have been a witness to the commitment the Sovereign Order of Malta has displayed to its mission, how you have fulfilled your responsibility to serve the poor and nurture the sick. The most recent example of your work in our country is seen in communities affected by Typhoon Haiyan, or Yolanda as it is locally called for whom you have built new homes for families who survived the calamity. For this and the many years of devoted service in our country, allow me to convey the sincere gratitude of the Filipino people. As an expression of our na nation's gratitude, we conferred earlier upon your highness the order of Secretuna with the rank of Raha or Grand Collar, conferred once before on his highness Fra Angelo de Mohana de Colonia in 1979. Our order of diplomatic merit is conferred on true friends and partners who have rendered exceptional and meritorious services to the Philippines. As the 50 years of our diplomatic relations have been characterized by Christian brotherhood, so too may we take even greater strides forward, sharing the goal of uplifting the poor and the suffering. On a personal note, the Sovereign Order of Malta has long been part of my family's history. My maternal grandparents, Jose and Demetria Coanco, and my paternal grandmother, Aurora Aquino, were members of this noble order. This makes your conferment of your order of merit pro merito meritensi all the more meaningful to me. Your Highness, I accept the conferment of this order on behalf of the Filipino people as a symbol of our shared commitment to serve the poor. At this point, I invite everyone to raise their glasses. To the good health, happiness, and success of Your Highness, to the enduring ties between the Philippines and the Sovereign Order of Malta, and to the continued success of the Sovereign Order of Malta. May it remain a strong and faithful witness of our faith, bringing the charity and mercy of our Lord to the lives of millions across the world. In the Philippines, we say, Mabuay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the entire delegation of the Order of Malta, I wish to convey to you our deepest appreciation for the warm welcome which we have received here in Manila. I would also like to extend our sincere gratitude to the distinguished authorities and to all the people of the Philippines for having received us here in your country offering this important opportunity of an encounter which to us represents a notable occasion for further strengthening our friendship and collaboration, which, as you have just said, goes back well before the establishment of full diplomatic relations in 1965. And I was, of course, extremely honored just before lunch to be decorated in the way that you have so kindly done. Um, and uh, I've find myself accepting these decorations, but 
They're not for me, they're for the, what the order has done. And for those of you also from, the, from inside the order of Malta, uh, I want to express again to you that so many of these things that would not happen if it wasn't for all the hard work that you do. The Republic of the Philippines is one of the most promising industrialized nations. Um, and certainly those of us in Europe have watched with a great deal of interest the fact that in this part of the world there are countries which have succeeded in weathering the recent economic storms. Uh, you have strong-willed citizens, a rich cultural heritage, and of course startling natural beauties here. In addition to the pro-democracy agenda being pursued following the remarkable example set by uh, former presidents Corazon Aquino and Benigno Aquino. I'm confident that the noble objective of widespread dialogue and peace will be successfully completed. The Order of Malta greatly admires the boundless courage and strength of the population of the Philippines, which you have demonstrated throughout your history, including in recent times during the devastating natural catastrophes, which as we know, hit this part of the world frequently. You are also driven by your faith and deep human values, which we fully share, and you are examples of solidarity and commitment to your communities. The Order of Malta, especially through the Nas National Association here in the Philippines of generous knights and dames, is proud to have been part of the development of the work we've been able to do here. And of course, I recall the immediate response which we were able to carry out following the powerful and devastating Typhoon Haiyan, and on that occasion, the Order of Malta was able to intervene with donations of food, distribution of tents, hygiene kits, sheets, and covers for 2,750 families. It also set up a voucher system on the island of Bohol to support 250 families for the reconstruction of their homes. Schools and daycare centers were also provided with tents and other part, bits of accommodation. And I should be very interested during the rest of my visit here to see some of the other work which has been done. Following the initial crisis phase in the villages of the provinces of Samar and Cebu, the Order of Malta was able to move forward to a second long-term rehabilitation phase with programs that aspire to the creation of safer and improved towns, efficient community health and safety services uh, guided by the idea of putting back in a better way what has been destroyed formerly. And indeed, we have got uh, ongoing long-term programs of medicine and food distribution. And again, it'll be interesting to see how that can be um, developed in the future. I'm confident that positive collaborations of this sort will grow and succeed even further once uh, the cooperation agreement which is being discussed between the authorities of the Republic and ourselves has been finalized and signed. And we'll be interested to see when that can be achieved. So, Mr. President, um, I express to you once again, and indeed to all the people of your country, our gratitude for your kindness and the warm hospitality and welcome that you've given to us. And I ask everybody to, here to join me in raising your glasses in a toast to Your Excellency's well-being and indeed the prosperity and harmony and the future of all the people of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you. There we are.